Hello everybody. <laughs> Guess what? I got a package. Um, it says Penguin, Penguin Random House. So obviously it's a book of some sort. And I was expecting a couple books to come in. So I won a book from Goodreads that hasn't arrived yet. And if I can get this cut. Um, I won a book off of was it book trip or was it read it first read it first I think that hasn't come yet all right let's see what this is this is one day in December so this is the one that came from read it forward that's a pretty cool looking cover with a double-decker bus, and I'm going to guess it's set in London. Uh, let's see. A love story about what happens after you meet, or rather don't meet, the one. Lori is pretty sure love at first sight doesn't exist anywhere outside of the movies. But then, through the mist on a bus window one snowy December day, she sees a man who knows, or she knows, instantly is the one. Their eyes meet. There's a moment of pure magic. And then her bus drives away. Certain they're fated to find each other again, Lori spends a year scanning every bus stop and cafe in London, hoping for another glimpse of what she trusts is true love. But she doesn't find him. Not when it matters, anyway. Instead, they reunite at a Christmas party where her best friend, Sarah, giddily introduces her new boyfriend, Jack, the man from the bus, to Lori. What follows for Lori, Sarah, and Jack are ten years of friendship, heartbreak, roads not taken, and destinies reconsidered. One Day in December is a joyous, heartwarming, and immensely moving love story and a reminder that fate takes inexplicable turns along the route to happiness. Hmm. It does sound pretty good. So, it's going on the to-be-read pile. Because, you know, that pile just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. The more I try to read, the bigger the pile gets. It never gets any smaller. It always gets bigger. <laughs> so, there's that. And here's the little note that came with it. If I can unfold it. There. Um, congratulations, your entry was randomly selected. And you've won One Day in December by Josie Silver. You can thank our friends at Broadway Books for offering up this amazing read. We love being able to share great reads with you. Enjoy. Abby, Emma, Stella, and the RAF team. Huh. P.S. Want to share a pic of your prize being opened? Post it on Read It Forward's Facebook page or via Twitter or Instagram using hashtag RAF winner. If you write a review on Goodreads or Amazon, we'd love to see it. Post your review link on our Facebook page or via Twitter using hashtag RIFWinner. So, there we go. Read it forward. People really do win. I just did. So, yeah. I enter it all the time. I have won before. Oh, wow. It's probably been at least two years since I won from them but a lot of people enter and they only give away like maybe one or two copies a time usually um, I think sometimes they go up to five copies but anyway you know small amount of copies larger number of people you know it's, it's gonna be a while in between wins um, but I did win once before I won um, the black count I think is the title about uh, Alexander Dumas and yeah it was pretty good um, and it was one I really wanted to get and luckily won it so yeah people do win it happens I do win on Goodreads quite a bit but then I enter a whole lot of things there so I'm bound to win something um, read it forward I do win occasionally 
you know, maybe every couple years, but still, it does, they do legitimately give away stuff, and, um, book trip also, I've won some, a few times, so, yeah, there, there are places where you can get free books, um, it's, it's definitely worth it, and, what else could I talk about? I did go to the library. <laughs> I'm always going to the library. Big surprise there. And so I'm currently reading Children of the Mance by Lewis Richard Lux. I guess that's how you say it. Um, yeah, it's hard to tell how to say his last name. It's been pretty interesting. It's about our area, sort of. Um, part of it's in Athens. Part of it's in Portsmouth. So, it, it is along the southern Ohio area, along the Ohio River, um, and so far it's been kind of interesting. I'm only like two chapters in, 44 pages or so, let's see, yeah, I'm on page 45 now, um, but it is about this family of four kids who were adopted by a family, and so far we're I'm learning about the history before they were put into the children's home and they went through some stuff <laughs> um so far the the chap the second chapter was about their father who I guess was kind of a hellraiser um at this point He's been in and out of jail, and he's pretty much has only been out of jail long enough to father five kids, and now he's back in jail. So the kids are right now left with their mother. Um, well, four of them, because the, the oldest daughter died, the first child died, because she had meningitis, and they didn't get her to the doctor in time, and she ended up dying. Anyway, that's where we are at this point. So yeah, it has been pretty interesting. I like that it is a true story and it's set in our area so we can kind of get an idea of how things were at this point in the 1930s into the 40s. Um, I think, was it 1941, I think, is when the kids get, it's either 41 or 43 that the kids get placed in the, in the children's home and I haven't gotten to that part yet. And there are some pictures, which I like. I love seeing the old pictures. Some more pictures. I always want to lean the wrong direction. It, this feels kind of weird, but yeah. yeah some more pictures. Some with puppy. So yeah. Um, but these are the four kids. Uh-oh, I just lost my page. Doo -doo. Uh... Let's see. Lewis, which is the one that wrote the book. Mark, Michael, and Janie. Well, Margaret Jane, but Janie. <laughs> She's always Janie. Um, that's one of the things he said in here. She's always Janie. Well, oh, crap. Sorry. <laughs> Keep dropping my bookmark. So anyway, that's all the update I really have today. Um, I know that my previous video, I don't think I've uploaded it yet, but anyway, my previous video, which will probably actually come up at the same time as this one, um, I talked about we were going to have a family movie night, and we only got through two of the three movies, the two that had to be back, <laughs> and let me tell you, Poultrygeist no. It sounded like it was going to be a blast. No. It was really disgusting. If you want more of a review other than it was disgusting, let me know in the comments and I can do a, a better review of it. Um, but yeah, it was disgusting. My hair actually looks kind of good today for a change. Oh, anyway, um, that's all I have for you today, so...